Hi, I'm Ola Strandberg. For the 2017 lineup of our guitar models, we redesigned the tremolo system from the ground up. It's now featured on a lot of our models, like the classic, the original, the prog, and this future model here. I'm going to talk you through some of the features of this tremolo, how to set it up and do intonation and such in a series of videos. I hope you enjoy. I'm going to take you through some of the features of the um, new Strandberg EGS Pro Revision 5 tremolo system. This is a little bit different from the previous ones. Um, the main difference being in the housings here. If you look at the previous version, um, which was uh, revisions 1 to 4, um, the trem system was hinged on uh, needle bearings that sat in these housings which meant that the um, tremolo height in relation to the body of the guitar was fixed um, because the, these housings were screwed into the body so the only way to adjust the action was these individual saddles just like on the fixed bridge So with the new system, um, we're instead relying on more of a conventional design with, with the knife edge, um, fulcrum point, um, but we've flipped things around. So instead of having the knife in, on the tremolo base plate and the groove in, in the post, the knife edge sits um, on the post and the groove sits inside the tremolo. And this um, post fits into a groove inside the um, tremolo base plate and it hangs there and, and pivots around uh, this edge. And the reason for this is that these inserts that the um, post rests against actually has two different positions. And I'll take you through that in detail, uh, the, the reasoning why, in a separate video. But basically this allows us to um, adjust the stiffness of the tremolo. The other thing that this offers is um, we can actually raise and lower the entire tremolo. So we don't have to adjust the action on the saddles um, of the tremolo. So when um, you should have received, uh, there's a 0.9 millimeter key. If you ever do need to adjust the height of, of the saddles, um, this is a locking screw that holds the saddle in place. So this smallest key will let you access this locking screw. Um, the next key is the 1.5 millimeter, which adjusts the stiffness of the tremolo arm and, and determines if, if how easily that would rotate. So to insert the tremolo arm, this runs um, very lightly now. Um, insert it and keep turning. Now, there's a threaded hole inside the arm that will lock onto this screw. That's what's happening as you're turning this. So it gets a little bit stiffer and eventually it'll stop. Do not turn past this point because it can damage this screw or the threads at the bottom of the um, tremolo arm. Instead, unwind it once it's hit the stop and then use the 1.5 millimeter key to, de to set how stiff the arm is, so how, uh, how easily uh, it falls down. That's the one, one and a half millimeter key. The two millimeter key is, is the normal one that you use for intonation adjustment. So to unlock the saddle, um, simply, uh, if, if you've seen the other setup videos, I usually recommend holding the key upright. So simply uh, unlock it and it'll slide. Um, 
If you change to really heavy strings, you may have to move um, some of these. They, they have multiple, um, multiple points, multiple mounting holes in, in the base plate. The three millimeter key is, is for the string locks as before. The four millimeter T wrench is for adjusting the truss rod just as before. But the other thing that you can actually adjust is the global height of the tremolo. So this will go into this hole and it, it meets the post. So you can raise and lower um, the entire tremolo system uh, in, in relation to the guitar body and thereby um, adjust the, the string height. And as before, the six millimeter key will fit the, the rear of the tuner um, and allow you to just save your fingers if, if they ever get sore um, or usually tunes up um, much more quickly and accurately with, with this key, even though it works fine with um, just your fingers. So um, I have a guitar here that needs intonation adjustment. So um, I'm going to take you through my method of um, doing that and um, hopefully that will save some woes. As usual with intonation adjustment, um, it has to start with the guitars being set up correctly in, in terms of the string height. Um, and the uh, so the action and, and the relief of the neck otherwise it's pointless to do the um, intonation so the first thing you want to do is, is just check the the relief which i usually do by just take the d string or whatever uh, press it hold it down on the 24th fret hold it down on the first fret see how much relief um, you have on, on the 12th fret this is a matter of um, preference I usually set it up um, to 0.2 millimeters or something like that at the um, 12th fret, almost the, the thickness of, of a business card if, if, um, if you need a reference. Start there, um, then check the action. Again, if, if you do want to lower this, you can use the four millimeter key, insert, and turn clockwise to lower, so sc screw the screw um, downwards, and counterclockwise to raise. One thing that can happen as you're doing this, and that can sometimes happen during shipping, is that the entire tremolo shifts a little bit sideways. Um, this is nothing to be concerned about. As you, when you finish this um, adjustment, simply grab the system, push it a little bit sideways until it centers. These inserts are um, curved a little bit, so it should center um, fairly easily. So don't be worried if, if this is misaligned slightly um, after you've, you've raised or lowered the action simply pull it in place and it's not going to move during play. So the next thing to think about um, as you're doing this is a floating tremolo system like this. Any change in tension below or underneath the guitar where the springs are will affect where the bass plate sits. So um, it's a lot of work if you want to um, intonate this while it's floating. Um, you see constantly have to tune and, and find a balance uh, for, for everything. So what I usually do is, is um, basically treat this as a fixed tremolo. And to do that, I want to block it from the rear. I find uh, a stack of picks is, is a good way of, of finding the appropriate thickness. Um, you probably have a ton laying around, different thicknesses. So basically what you want to do is just take these, uh, stick them at the back of the tremolo. That was too many. And 
and then check the alignment Pu push down and check the alignment here you want it to be level with the body um, and this looks good right now so what I'm gonna do is I'll hold this turn it over and I'm gonna use a screwdriver to tighten the springs quite a bit so now this system will basically act as a fixed bridge because the, the tremolo is, is pulled way back pressing against this stack of picks behind so now I want to check where we're at it's a little bit sharp So it could have moved, it moved a little bit when I inserted the um, picks and um, tightened the springs. So there we go. And as usual, take the harmonic on the 12th fret, then fret it on the 12th fret. If when you fret it, if it's sharp, you want to move the bridge back. If it's flat, want to move the bridge closer forward so as I'm checking these they're all a little bit sharp so they all have to go backward so now as I unscrew this, um, I can also use uh, a, a driver like this, just do it more quickly. Now the bridge will stay level because we put the stack of picks underneath it. So I'm going to loosen this, pull it back just a hair, tighten it back. a little tiny bit sharp There we go, spot on. Once you've done this, once you've done this a few times, um, you'll basically learn where the bridges want to sit in, in relation to each other. Um, hopefully, unless you're a guitar tech, you won't have to do this many times. Uh, it's, it's basically only when you do um, when you change the, the gauges of strings, uh, etc., that, that you would never need to do this. Spot on. Now what you might run into, like on this guitar, the str strings have been cut too short, so there, there's not enough slack here 
um, to move the bridge back. Usually, if done properly, I, I happen to know that these strings are brand new. Uh, usually you will do this in conjunction with the string change, so this is not going to be an issue. Um, but for me, there, there's, there's not enough range now to pull this string back. So I'm going to just take a chance and, and loosen this a little bit. Um, and give it a little more slack. Um, sometimes this is a tricky operation to, to get them to, to settle back, especially for the, uh, for the plain strings. But for the, for the wound strings, it, it shouldn't be an issue. Right, so there we go. That's the intonation done. So, and we could do this with this guitar just as if it was a fixed bridge guitar. So now we want to tune back up, just make sure that we're all good. and remove the picks so now this is horribly sharp so this we just release these again So that's the um, basic global height adjustment, um, it's intonation, obviously string change is done just the way that, that I now presented. Um, if What you generally want to do is probably clean the fretboard as, as you're changing strings. There's a chance that when you um, block the tremolo and remove all the strings, that the spring tension will pull the tremolo off the posts. Um, again, don't worry about that. Insert the strings back on, um, tighten them a little bit, and the tremolo will fall back in, in place and, and you can shift it in place with your hand, um, block it just like I did now, and tune it up. So, um, keep rocking and have fun.